when we read a novel, uh, we understand the beginning better after we've read the end. And, and the same is true in, in reading scripture. Uh, we, understand, we understand the book of Proverbs. You know, the Bible isn't like a giant book of Proverbs. It is, it is a narrative. We understand the book of Proverbs better when we see it's not, it's not just a bunch of isolated sayings, but Proverbs itself is part of the story. And, and that's true of all of Scripture. We think of uh, Galatians chapter 3.16 when we're told that Jesus is the, the offspring of Abraham or the seed of Abraham. I mean, you, you really can't understand a verse like that. You really can't understand Galatians unless you understand how does that fit with the story? What, why, why is Abraham important? Why is he coming up in Galatians? It's, it's because it's part of one uh, whole narrative. Or, or the same thing when we uh, read uh, Matthew. Uh, Matthew chapter 1, verse 1, Jesus is the uh, son of David and the son of Abraham. I mean, what a way to start the New Testament. Well, that, that beginning, again, is threading us back into the story of uh, the Old Testament, the story of Abraham, the story of David, the story of God's kingship, the story of God's rule, the story of God reclaiming the world uh, for uh, his, his glory. So, so wherever you're reading, whether it's the Old Testament sacrifices and Leviticus, or whether you're reading one of Paul's letters, we, we always have to think uh, of the whole. We always have to think of where we are in the story in order to rightly interpret it and uh, apply it to today. And also, a story is exciting, isn't it? Uh, a story has uh, uh, moments of uh, tension and climax and, and resolution. And of course, in the Bible, the, the greatest story of all is of Jesus' ministry, death, and uh, resurrection. So the, the Bible is the story of, of defeat, fall, death in terms of Jesus, and then resurrection, uh, triumph, uh, victory. Uh, the story is a story of God's uh, kingdom, of, uh, of God's uh, victory, of God's triumph, of God's glory, and of the redemption of human beings. So for, it, it goes from fall to redemption to consummation to the great climax where, where God receives the glory and, uh, and we rejoice in him forever.